Hello everyone, this is Trish with Cars Plus. You're looking at my 2009 Pontiac Solstice GXP. It has about 55,000 miles on it and the check engine light is on. We're having some performance issues with it as well. A rough startup, some hesitation, it seems like it's running lean and it seems to be gasping for air. Now the performance actually drops when I'm running the air conditioning. We're pretty sure it might have something to do with the mass airflow sensor. So what we'll do is we're going to get our diagnostic tool and read some codes. We're also going to take some test drives and see if we can troubleshoot what's actually going on here. So if you drive a 2006 to 2010 Pontiac Solstice GXP, this video is for you. Here we are with the mass airflow sensor removed from our opening down here. Just two screws to take it out. We've set them up on a cowl section for now. This is the original one. We've got a replacement one we're going to put in and see if it fixes this issue. Here's our new mass airflow sensor and it is off of a website called originalpartsgeek.com. You can see there the part number. So we kind of hope that that's going to work, but we're going to switch it out here and go to testing the car in a moment. They come with a little bit more than I've got. I've already taken the packing material out of here. But there's our new part. And we are going to have to release this and put our new part there. I'll set the new part aside. You've got a clip on here. You've got to pull down. You see there's the portion of the clip. You've got to pull down, pull down on that. And you saw me work it right out. We're going to save our old one for the moment because we don't know all what the situation is. You'll notice it'll only go in one way. Slide it back in. Make sure it's well seated. You notice we get a brand new seal here that we want to keep in place so we can put it together into the car. I'm going to rotate that around there. It's back where it belongs. It's rectangular down here. So make sure your rectangular seal is on there correctly. Set it back down in the opening. And then we're just going to reverse the process and screw it back in. Now, while I'm screwing this in, I'll tell you this, that you can get mass airflow sensor cleaner at your local auto parts store. Sometimes that's all it's going to take and you can clean the mass airflow sensor. In this case, that didn't turn out to be true because so we'd already tried that. That's why we're going to the idea of the new sensor this time. And we'll just tighten it in here. Now before we go to clearing the codes, another couple of things to know here. If your solstice has this problem, you are probably going to have things such as hesitation, a little bit of popping out of the back of the car. Obviously you're going to set a code. You're not going to have the power you're expecting. So that's why we even got started on this besides having a check engine light. All right, so back to the accessory position. We're going to go back in and of course, we did not clear the codes last time. This time, we're just going to erase them because we already know what they are and we've already read them. So they're erased. Now we're going to start up the car. Now, before I do this, you should know because this has the 290 horsepower tune on it, it's going to have a little chuffing when it starts. It always has from brand new. That's normal, but that'll settle down. It's after that point that we would be having the trouble with the car. All right, you heard the little chuffing that stopped. It dropped the idle down. There's no check engine light. So we need to go out and take this on a test drive and see if it stays with no check engine light with the new mass airflow sensor. sensor for 
for anything. That sensor does not work properly with the car. Right now I'm going to set the car on cruise. We're just going to let it cruise. And you're noticing there's a little surging in this car, which theoretically is not related to the mass airflow sensor. We're going to drive it around to see what else is going on. The mass airflow sensor that's original is back in the car and cleaned out again with mass airflow sensor cleaner to see if it will work, although I am still suspicious that that sensor is in fact possibly bad. It's 13 years old. The car has 56,000 miles roughly on it. It might be in fact that the sensor is just worn out from age, but we may have a combination problem in the vehicle. Issues you could have though with the mass airflow sensor, we could have an electrical problem, meaning we don't have good connections operating. We could also have a vacuum leak, although we're not setting vacuum leak codes anywhere. So we're going to take it on a little test drive here, see if it sets any codes, because we've cleared them all out right now, we'll see if this surging continues. Now just so everybody knows, just in case we have put sea foam into the tank at basically the ratio suggested because the surging may be related to a deposit on valves, etc., or other things not clean, the fuel injector is not being perfectly clean. These could be reasons for the surging. Here we have scanned the car again. You notice we have P0101. There's a 1 and a 2 in the corner. Both of them are P0101. I'm still of the opinion that the mass airflow sensor, being 13 years old, is probably bad. I've just ordered a new one from GM Direct itself. Now I'll also tell you, based on that test drive and those weird surges we were getting, 
even having put seafoam in the car to see if it's a problem that relates to something else in addition. And no matter what's said online, right now it looks to me like the mass airflow sensor with this special tune, and people should know this car is special tuned by GM for 290, not 260 horsepower. I believe the two are in fact related, and the mass airflow sensor is probably what is bad on the car. So at the end of this video here, we're just going to tell you, stay tuned for a future video where we'll cover whether or not the new GM mass airflow sensor fixes it. Just remember, do not use the Chinese one we showed you. It will not work. And sea foam does not appear to be fixing any of the surging from other potential problems in this car. It really does appear it needs a mass airflow sensor. Remember I told you we've even checked around for vacuum leaks and have not found that as a problem. It is still possible, although it doesn't appear to be the case, that we have an electrical issue other than the mass airflow sensor somehow in its circuit, but I am disinclined right now to believe that. Stay tuned for a future episode where hopefully we'll have found exactly what's wrong with the car and explain it to you at that time.